Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian Jack with Men's Comics and we are kicking off yet another video series. Here we're giving you some great trade paperback options to be on the lookout for, right Jack? That's right. We know you guys are stuck at home in quarantine and you're looking for things to read. Also, trade paperbacks are another great way that we can support LCSs. Um, but, but if your LCS isn't open or they don't have a trade paperback you're looking for that we talk about, have no fear. Check in that uh, description. We've got links right there to Amazon as well as on simplemanscomics.com. We've got an article format of this video with links on that article. Like Jack said, links to all the trade paperbacks we're going to talk on this video are in the description as well on simplemanscomics.com. LCS is a great way to support buying from there as well. But like he said, if you can't get to those LCS, Amazon is a great affordable option as well. But so how this is going to break out, we are breaking it into categories by publisher. We're going to give you one trade per publisher, and then we each have a wild card trade that we're going to talk about as well. And we're going to get into it right now, starting with Marvel, and we get Spider-Man Life Story, Jack. That's right. Great first pick in this first video for Marvel because this is a story that gives you an entire story in one book. So you don't need to get a second volume or a third volume. You're going to get Spider-Man's entire life story in this one book. This is written by Chip Zdarsky, art by Mark Bagley. This is a really critically acclaimed book. Um, and, and one of, if not the only times outside of like what ifs and things like that, where we have seen a major Marvel or DC character be aged up. And as this book takes you from Spider-Man's childhood all the way to uh, being elderly uh, and everything in between. And like we said, you know, support your LCS. But if you're looking on Amazon, this book is available. This is a $24.99 cover price book. It's available right now for $16.72. Yeah, we had mentioned we talked a lot about this series and the single issues throughout the Bolo yeah. show and the other videos that we talked about. And one that we kept mentioning is this would be great as a trade paperback. So here we have it. So it's another reason, great reason, in fact, why we have it for the Marvel category this week. Yeah, especially with a few issues in this series, having key first appearances that have driven up single issues on the back issue market, this is the most affordable way to get your hands on this series and read these books. So then shifting from Marvel over to DC, we get another kind of newer release as well, but this is also a great series, especially in trade paperback format. That's why I like this video. We're talking about all those great reader stories, and here we have Heroes in Crisis. Yeah, this one got kind of like mixed reviews, uh, and mostly because of the release schedule. It was kind of slow to come out. Um, the art style also really was trying to pull on your emotional heartstrings, and that may have been tough for some people, especially with the way it was released. So getting it all in one shot, the entire miniseries in one book, um, I think will really help the reader to appreciate the story the way I do, because this was one of my favorite reads of 2019. I really enjoyed this book. I think it's, it's a different look at superheroes. It absolutely humanizes a lot of characters in the DC universe and gives us this awesome whodunit mystery story that ends up playing out how you are not thinking it's going to play out. Um, so I can't recommend this enough. This is another one that's available on Amazon at a great deal. If you, the trade paperback is great, but the hardcover is available for 50% off right now. $29.99 cover price available for $14.99. Right. Again, a lot of these, some of these have the full contained story in it, but a lot of them at least have the first arc, either four to six issues. So it's a great way to catch up. Get a big dose of that story all in one shot. That's why we're a big fan of these trade paperbacks. And going over to Image, we get Southern Bastards. This is like Jack and I here. Jack and I talk about this a lot on the story. We have other Comic Core, Modern Men. They just did a review about Southern Bastards as well. But definitely one of my favorite comic books and by some of my favorite creators. That's right. So you're, you're talking about Jason Aaron and Jason Latour, the two Jasons as they're called on the comic book circuit. Shoot the J. Shoot it! Um, Shoot two, the J. Shoot two, it. Two bald-headed, gray-bearded guys um, who uh, come together to give you a real southern fried mob story. Um, I, I love this this book, it's, it's been really one of the books that brought me back into reading comics. Um, but I can't recommend this enough. And the great thing is books like this, this is another reason why I wanted to, you know, do this kind of content is we're all about reading on the channel, but I also want to give people some tips. So this book is, a, is 
Image does these trade paperbacks, and yeah, it's in volumes, which is tough because you got to get multiple books. But the volumes for this book only cost nine ninety nine a book. That's the cover price, so it's really affordable. When you look at some of these like single issues that come out, like Wolverine number one with a seven ninety nine cover price, and if you buy it on Amazon, you're looking at a discounted price of eight fifty. But here's a pro tip to everybody out there. If you're new getting into trade paperbacks or maybe you've never thought about this before, if you're shopping on Amazon, look for used books if you don't care about like the condition of the book for your collection. I know some of you guys, even if you're grabbing trade paperbacks, you want those things crispy. But if you're looking at, if you don't care, you just want to read the story, you can pick up a book like Southern Bastards for as low as $2 used in a lesser condition. So yeah, one thing also, if you haven't read Southern Bastards, is a great twist within the first few issues, so you'll get it right in that first volume, definitely. If you read that first volume, I have a feeling you're going to go back for that second one. Then shifting from Image over to Boom, we get Mighty Morphin from Power Rangers Shattered Grid. This is one of the epic storylines, especially for Power Rangers fans, right? That's right. We're talking Necessary Evil consistently on the channel right now. And every time we do, we talk about how Shattered Grid put Power Rangers comics really on the map on the secondary market, as well as some solid reader buzz that got a lot of people who never thought that they would read Power Ranger comics reading the books. Yes, Brian is one of them. And to be honest with you, so am I. So here is your opportunity to go back. Maybe you are Power Rangers skeptic. Maybe you haven't checked out anything Power Rangers in a long time. Maybe you've been listening to us yak about this for a year and you just want to see what the fuss is about. Now is a great opportunity. We're all stuck in the house and this is a great story to read. That Mighty Morphin Power Rangers hardcover deluxe edition from Boom Studios is a great buy. $75 cover price on sale right now at Amazon, $35. Yeah, and then moving over to IDW, releasing just within the past couple weeks. This is definitely one of our favorite stories on this channel. We've talked to the creators multiple times. And, of course, we're talking about Canto Volume 1. Absolutely love this. I've actually pre-ordered two copies. I will say that's on accident. I ordered it from one place and then <laughs> forgot and ordered it from another. But either way, we, we can't say enough good things about Canto on this channel, right, Jack? No, absolutely not. Uh, you know... The uh, little Tin Man with a heart, he absolutely has been, you know, a major influence on the channel because it was one of those books that we saw early on. We brought the creators on. We championed. It was a big secondary market success, um, and it's it's been kind of fun to watch throughout. But now the trade paperback is out. And issue number one, I mean, it's a 20 to $30 book. So if you weren't able to grab those single issues, if you slept on it, um, it's another one where if you're like, man, I've been hearing these guys talk about this for a long time time and we talked about the great all ages value of this story the fact that it's really going to connect with everybody in the family but maybe a little differently um it's one to if your significant other is maybe you know not so hot to your comic book collecting habits this is a great story for her to read um, um or him and it's it's one of those ones where i can't recommend it enough because i feel like it hits it hits every mark and it's a great way to support your LCS because this book just came out. This came out the last new comic book day that LCS has had. A lot of LCS has got this book and it's sitting in their inventory. I, I, it, had, it has to be because only people who really pre-ordered it with shops, most shops being closed at that point, um, would have had access to this book. So hit your LCS up, see if, LCS up, see if they've got this in stock. This is a great way to support them. In fact, you know what, since I ordered two, I'll go ahead and give away one here on the channel, right? So here's what we're going to do. We talk about reading is just as important with comic books as, as Jack likes to talk about the secondary market and speculation. Um, but we always talk about how great the stories are. That's the reason why we're having a trade paperback video. So comment down below. Let us know what your, fav trade, what your favorite trade paperbacks are. We'll randomize those, pick one, and we'll send that winner a copy of Canto Volume 1 Trade Paperback. And with that being said, we're going to shift over to the indie category. We just had this author on the channel talk about his new book, No Heroin, as well as Dead End Kids. But we're going to talk about that trade paperback for Dead End Kids right now. That's the full story, right? That's right. And you're talking about a book that if you were to pick up the all the issues on the secondary market, it would cost you well more than that trade paperback 
cover price of $9.99. And it's available right now at the SourcePoint Press web store. And we're gonna put that link in the description, but here's the great thing. SourcePoint Press wants you to stay home, keep up your social distancing. So put that code home in, H-O-M-E, and you're gonna save 30%. So you're talking about $7 on this trade paperback, and it's a great way to support a small publisher and comic creators. Right, so we've talked about Marvel, we talked about DC, Image, Boom, IDW, and an independent. Here comes the part where we're gonna talk about our wild card picks. And my pick this week, another great story, another first volume, but it takes, I'm talking about the kickoff that will make you wanna go and buy those other volumes available on Amazon or your LCS. And I am talking about another image book, Kill or Be Killed. This one got a lot of buzz about it and for good measure, Fantastic story. There's been talk about option news. I think the, the guy who was behind John Wick was supposed to be involved in this movie coming forward. Of course, nothing's happening right now, regardless across all production. But all that aside, if you want a great, fantastic story and you're a fan of Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips, great creative team, definitely pick up Killer Be Killed Volume 1 if you haven't read it yet. Yeah, another great trade, Brian, that's available on Amazon for $7 in change, brand new, um, $9.99 cover price. But again, if you don't care about condition, grab that used cover, $2 in change. So that's my wild card pick, Jack. What is going to be your wild card pick for this week? Well, Brian, we've talked trades, collected editions, entire mini series. I'm going to come with something a little different since this is the wild card category. I'm going to talk about an omnibus. I'm going to talk about Marvel First, the 1990s. Now, omnibuses are incredibly expensive. It might be the kind of thing that's beyond a lot of people's budgets, but this is a great buying opportunity right now with a lot of these books on Amazon because what ends up happening before this diamond shutdown diamond would regularly clear out inventory of omnibus sell them real cheap to dealers who would then immediately put them on Amazon tanking the Amazon prices and making them affordable for people like you and me who maybe weren't jumping on them when they were first released so this book is currently available for $49.99. It has a cover price of $125. So you're talking about a savings of $75 right now. You may be saying, what is this book? Well, this is a book that reprints and collects all these great, amazing 1990s first appearances. I'm talking about New Mutants 98, New Mutants 87. I'm talking about Dark Hawk number one. A lot of great 90s comics. Um, a lot of these comics that we're going to be talking about for the next several years going into the different Marvel Cinematic phases of the different Marvel Cinematic Universe and a lot of great classic covers that, you know, some of these books are getting expensive and it's great to have them all in one place and to be able to read a lot of these books that a lot of people have collected but haven't really read. Yeah, well, I'm just going to say you're a damn cheat, Jack. Talking about <laughs> trades, you throw an omnibus in on me, wish I would have known, maybe I would have mixed up my wild card pick, but now we're not, because <laughs> I'm going to still stick with Kill or Be Kill, because it's still a great book. But either way, I do like your omnibus pick, I just wish I'd known, you know? But either, that's it, guys, those are the trades that we have for this. We broke it down by category, again, links to all those will be in the description of this video, and also we'll have it in article format over at simplemanscomics.com, so you can check it out either way. But Jack, anything before we go? Oh, I want to thank everybody, all the new subscribers, and most importantly, those longtime subscribers, those who have been supporting us along the way. We recently hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Uh, it's a major milestone for Brian and I. We're humbled, and we cannot say thank you enough to everybody who has supported and championed the channel, all of our Patreon pledge members. Um, it just can't say thank you enough because we can't do this without all of you. Yeah. I, this is one of my favorite videos to do because one, it's not sexy. It's not what a lot of people like to see with like, oh, I want to make money or what has first appearances. This is hardcore readers, great stories, collected editions of those great stories. And we're talking about them in this video. And we look, I look, I look forward to this, doing this on a more regular basis. So let us know in the comments again, to win that Canto trade, what are your favorite trade paperbacks? We'll randomize that and pick a winner and get that out to you guys. We'll now see a winner next week because we're going to be doing this again next week. So I hope you guys enjoy some great reads while you're staying home, staying safe, staying healthy. And if you're a first time or a new subscriber, make sure you click that notification bell so you're notified of all the great videos hitting the channel. 
For Brian, I am Jack, and thank you for watching Simple News Comics.